Hey, good morning. Bless up, bless up. Today is a beautiful day. It is Wednesday. If you're watching this at a later date, it's still a beautiful day because you're able to watch it. You're able to see it, hear it, and hopefully you can feel this. Today, I was given a thought, a thought about as a young man being raised by a beautiful, beautiful young black woman, a single parent, although uh, my parents were married at an early age, uh, times changed and therefore they had a divorce. But nevertheless, uh, my mom found a way to seize the moment and step up to the plate and pretty much her along with her family decided to raise a young boy called Eco, right? But I remember when certain things in life happened as a child, right? I remember times when I wanted to go out and play and all the kids were playing and it seems like it, it was always like that, you know, on a Saturday morning. And you hear kids outside, you know, in my day, long times, I hate to date myself, but kids, they got up in the morning, they went out and played, especially on Saturday morning. You can hear them. You hear them all outside. Some of them hadn't even put on a they, they, they play clothes yet. They still out there. They playing around, you know, haven't even washed their face, but they out there playing. They riding a the bicycle. They doing jump rope. They doing all kinds of stuff. They just having fun. But I remember my mom would say, uh, you can't go outside. You got to clean up. And I was like, mom, ain't nobody coming here. I thought to myself, of course, I didn't verbalize it, but I did go like, oh, man. And I was thinking I was missing out on so much. I thought it was like the end of the world at the time. My mama said, you need to stay in and you need to clean up. You need to clean up your room. You need to pick up. You really need to handle your responsibilities, right? But it seemed like everybody was having a good time. It seemed like they got louder when I was cleaning up and picking up and sweeping up. And it seemed like I couldn't get everything clean. And then I go and stuff stuff and, and sweep stuff up under uh, the bed and, and move around some stuff and shift around some stuff. And then I have to go ask mama. I said, can I go outside? And she'll, she'll go. She said, did you clean your room? I said, yeah, I clean. She said, did you clean your room? And I said, okay, uh, let me go and, and do some other things. So I went, I tied it up a little bit better. I straightened up the bed. I, I took some stuff out underneath the pillow. I, I moved some stuff out from up underneath the bed. And instead of throwing everything in the closet, I started hanging up some stuff. I started putting up some things. And then I started this thing where I wanted to start take pride in what I was doing, right? And I stopped hearing the kids outside playing. And then I start watching my work and watching my room come alive. I start finding toys I never found before. I found things that I've lost for quite some time, right? Next thing you know, I start feeling this sense of pride. I start feeling this sense of this is my room. I start noticing decorations that we put together as I straighten things up. I started paying attention to my my bed as far as my sheets, my favorite sheets, the icons on the sheets, the Star Wars sheets. I started watching my cars on my bed spread. Next thing you know, I started picking up some of my toys and I was finding toys that I lost for quite some time. And then after I finally complete, right, I got out there and I said, Mom, can I go outside? She said, did you clean your room to my liking? I said, yes, ma'am, I did. She said, well, I'm getting ready to go check. I said, okay. So we walk down the hall and then we go into the room. My mom opens the door and there she is. She looks around. She opens up the closet. She looks up underneath the bed. She opened up the drawers to make sure none of the drawers are stuffed in there. And she check up underneath the pillow. And she turns around and she smiles. And she says, well done. You can go outside. 
Man, you talking about a feeling out of this world. Man, I would go and run, grab my bike, and go down to where the kids are. And it seems like the day was just so much better. I, and then, guess what? Later on, the kids will have to leave. Some of the kids have to leave, and then their parents will come and say, come on in here and clean your room. And then here I am, out here watching them having to go, and all of a sudden, the swing become free. All of a sudden, I can get on the merry-go-round. I can get on the slide. I don't have no big waiting line. You know, pre preparation is a part of life. It starts at a, at a young age. There's times when you're going to want to Go and do what you want to do and do how you want to do it. But you know there's work to be done, right? You know you got a job, you got a task to do it, right? Go ahead and take care. Procrastination, it builds opportunity and room for failure and for problems to sink in, right? As you prepare yourself, take accountability. You know what you need to do. Those fundamental truths where you feel like you're missing out on a lot, but you're in there working, you're in there working, you're in there grinding, you're in there doing your thing. You're going to get your opportunity. Go ahead and lay down the foundation because one day you're going to have your reward. And when you have your reward, you're going to appreciate it. And then guess what? As I continue to play, the majority of kids had to go and do their chores and do their business. But guess what? Me and a few of our other friends who had to stay in, we had a good quality piece of time and we enjoyed ourselves. So sometimes it's real crowded in the beginning and you want to jump in, but you know you got other responsibilities to do. Sometimes go ahead and handle your business, right? Matter of fact, not sometimes. Handle your business first. Get your work done first. And I don't know what it is about the top. It ain't so crowded at the top. I don't know why it is, but after a while, it's not that bad. So you be blessed and be well and understand, understand, my friends, that what we go through sometimes in life, the work we got to put in, the reward will come over a period of time. And then at that time, you'll see the value in that reward. Trust and believe. You'll see the value in your reward. So keep on grinding, keep on growing.